time. Today's video is going to be a haul video. Okay, let's begin. <laughs> you seriously think that my intro is going to be that short? <laughs> no way in hell. So, today's video is going to be a collective haul video. Not a massive collective haul. It's just going to be a mini. <laughs> mini? Masa macam dah lama tak buat haul video? In the bar? I, I think so. So, these are the items that I bought uh, over this past two weeks, I want to say. Ada juga barang yang sebenarnya dah pre-order lama tapi baru sampai. Itulah ada benda yang dah order lama tapi baru nak sampai. Kebetulan masa sampai tu, terbeli dua benda lain. So, nampak macam banyak beli benda pada tak pun. You guys always say that I always buy makeup. Mana ah, ada? Actually, ada lagi barang yang beli tapi tak sampai lagi. Tapi yang buat rasa macam nak buat haul ni because I wanted to unbox two items that I just received today. Ha, ni masa main. Pip, pip, pip. Ni nyari tu dah tarah motor. So, buka lah. Assalamualaikum. Bawa apa tu? Elok je masuk rumah. Seriously. Elok je masuk rumah, tutup pintu. Pum, pum, pum. My van post lah tu pula. Assalamualaikum. Bawa apa tu? So, actually, I wanted to unbox just this two. But, when I look back, I got a few things that are new. So, okay. First thing that I want to show you guys is this um, makeup primer by Dermacol. This is matte control makeup base. So, I got all of my Dermacol products from Mimida uh, on Instagram. I will link her Instagram down below. So, if you watch my um, full face, try new makeup full face hat yang pakai je clean heel palette tu. I use Dermacol setting base makeup primer on that video. And then, Mimi saw that and she kindly sent this primer to me. This is for um, oily skin because this is a matte uh, makeup base. So this is an award winning makeup base. Like I mentioned, this is a matte makeup base. So it is supposedly suitable for oily skin. Not only it mattifies your face, it is a great primer uh, untuk menyembunyikan appearance of your pores which mm, I'm all about that life. Matte and poreless. Give it to me. So I haven't tried this one yet but um, just looking at this texture, it is quite creamy. It doesn't feel much like silicone or greasy at all. So I am very excited to try this one. But if you want to try original Dermacol product, make sure to get it from Mimi because she gets Dermacol directly from Dermacol store in Prague. Pro 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 How do you pronounce that? Is that no? Prague. She gets directly from Dermacol store in Prague. Thank you girl. New primer! So, dapatkan daripada Mimi dah. Alright? Okay. Next, I got this pencil liner from uh, the brand Pharmacy. Pharmacy? Pharmacy? Uh, Pharmacy. It is a local brand. This is in the shade 120. It is basically a white eyeliner. Uh, pencil liner kayu. So, I saw Janna ni. Janna ni. Use this uh, eyeliner and it looks so pigmented. Bila dia pakai ni, mata tu nampak macam bulat dan macam... Pop bulat, gala, very pop. So this one doesn't tuck your waterline. It glides easily. Very pigmented. But the problem that I have with this eyeliner is that yeah, I have already tried this. It doesn't last long. But my waterline ni suka berkayak. Eh salah, suka tengok drama. Mulalah nak sebok. Nah, ada nak sebok pun. Dalam normal condition pun, this um this one fits easily. So... I definitely will try to make this work one way or another. Okay. Be itulah. That is my short review for this pencil. <laughs> Next two items are from Simplicity. Untuk T, untuk T. I got the Simply Elegant Auto Brow Liner in the shade um, Black Brown, ABL01. So this is uh, basically just a typical eyebrow liner. I've used this um, I think three times already and I love this. It makes your eyebrow look so natural. I'm using it today. Natural tak? Kena pop fit. By the way, I'm going to link everything down below. Macam biasa, the price and everything, where to get them from. This one cost me around 20 ringgit lebih kot. I got this from Watson. So anyway, what I really love about this uh, pencil is because it is very slim, easy to use, not too pigmented, tapi not too waxy. Um, I love the spoolie part. I have mama pop in ayam. Oh my god. And I also love the fact that this is retractable. This one reminds me of the Elento eyebrow. And I feel like this one is macam easier to use. Walaupun dia sama. Maybe sebab this one macam a little bit pigmented than the uh, Elento one. Usually with a small slim uh, eyebrow pencil macam ni. I will use it macam to just frame my eyebrows. The shape of my eyebrows. Macam rakaw je. Not so much filling them in. Sebab rasa tak puas. Rasa macam nak go in with uh, powder. Untuk top up dekat bagian outer 
brow eye brownie. With this one, surprisingly, I use only this for my eyebrows, and I feel fine. <laughs> As of now, this is my current favorite eyebrow pencil. Hello, Joker Destinacy! Yeah, yeah. Okay. So the next one that I got from Simplicity is the La Collection Door. This is a shading blusher. So it's like a duo palette where you get um, a blush and a contour color, a shading color. So I'm using these two on my cheeks today. I use the contour to contour my face obviously. But this one, when you swatch it, for some time, oh okay, it has quite nice um, color and pigmentation. Tapi, when you blend it out, dia macam kilang. Dia macam fades away. Which actually can be a good thing because some contour powder can be a little bit too pigmented and even with a light handed pun you can end up having a very muddy ataupun harsh contour which what I usually do <laughs> I always go crazy with my contour I don't know why because sometimes I feel like you go in strong tapi lama-lama contour color tu dia hilang so you will end up looking macam tak contour pun your face okay but with this one you don't have to worry about having like a harsh muddy contour because you need to build this up it's not that dia macam tak pigmented tapi dia macam sangat blendable sampai you have to blend more and put more and blend and put more and blend to look like you have contour on. I think lagi bagus lah macam tu. Lagi bagus that you can build more and more instead of go in too strong. And I like the undertone of this one. It is not too... Dia macam chocolate tau. It's not too warm but it is not too ashy either. As for the blusher, hat ni lain blok cerita dia. Bila swatch, macam tak apa-apa nak pigmented sangat. Tapi bila you go in with a brush, the brush macam will pick banyak pigment from this blusher. It's what I'm wearing right now. And mind you, I have to put on few layers of bedak to tone down the blusher colour. Whoa, whoa, your blusher need to chill, girl. Sebab dia sangat... I don't know sebab brush ke ataupun foundation Maybe lah juga Tapi you letak Tapi bila nak start blend tu Dekat mana yang letak tu Dekat situ lah paling banyak pigmentation Faham tak? Faham tak? Faham tak? So I have to experiment with this With other brush But so far the color is good And I feel like this is quite handy Because you can get um, a blush and a contour In one palette To go mm. Next I got brushes from CS Makeup This is the um, Essential Pro 8 pieces um, brushes from CS Makeup. This retails for 69 ringgit. I have their eye um, set which I use all the time in my videos. So, dalam website dia, uh, this set supposed to have 8 brush uh, for face brushes and also for eye brushes. But I have one extra here. I don't know if it's silap ke apa, but never mind. So, you get a powder brush, multi purpose brush, blusher brush. Highlight or contour brush, eye base brush, blending brush, eyebrow brush, and also a lip brush. So these are made from super soft artificial um, synthetic hair and also good hair. Bad. They are super soft. And what I love about these brushes is that this is their own brushes. Okay, this is not macam brushes yang tengah berkeliaran dekat IG sekarang ni yang macam ada mermaid brush lah, yang ada macam marble brush lah, yang macam brush yang jenis yang macam brush yang sama cuma dia pun buh cok masing-masing je faham tak? so this is definitely different from that brush hat tu I feel like they have more macam plastic feeling but this one doesn't feel like that at all like I mentioned they feel super soft tak rasa macam gatal-gatal ataupun tajam at all so yeah so di know dinner sekalian if you're looking for affordable makeup brushes that is affordable but also good quality I recommend for you to check out CS Makeup Brushes. Speaking of brushes, I also got this one. I pre-ordered this from um, an IG shop. I will link it down below obviously. This is a brushes punya washing machine. <laughs> so I'm going to roughly explain to you how it works. So you get macam a handle. Handle tu kena masuk bateri. Lepas tu you cucuk your brushes. Dia punya pungkok. Pungkok brushes toin toin tu. Masuk dalam handle tu. So you fill in the pot ni with uh, water. And also brush cleanser. Lepas tu you masukkan brush you dalam tu. That one. And then tekan button. Lepas tu sagi. You punya brush tu akan putar. Macam spin washing machine. Lepas tu angkat. Masa dia tengah putar tu. Lepas tu biar lagi dia putar 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 putar. Lepas tu dalam beberapa saat dia tengah pusing pusing tu. Sepatutnya brush tu not only dia bersih. It will also dry instantly. Menarik tak? Macam menarik kan? Wow. But I don't know if this will actually work. I'm going to test it obviously. So this is the handle that I'm talking about. And then you will get the bowl. And you will get um, color. Ada 8 color. With different sizes to fit your brushes. 
So I'm going to show you an example on how to set up this thing. Kau macam a bit flimsy. Uh, maybe bukan size yang betul but okay whatever. So you put ayak dalam ni and also your brush cleanser. Lepas tu, lepas tu brush dalam ni lepas tu tekan beralamak bateri takda pula. But anyway, that's just roughly how it works. Patutnya. I don't know if this is a, macam a gimmicky thing but I hope it works. Really works because I need help to wash my brushes. So next, siapa dia? Siapa dia yang menghasut pemikiranku sampai boleh terbeli this PC cream? Siapa dia? Ha? Siapa? Baik dengan aku. I know ada more than two person yang selalu sebut pasal Dixie on my channel. Siapa? Ha? Baik dengan aku. Tengok ni, kena terbeli. Ha. So, benda ni katanya macam dah viral. Macam sangat best and popular. But since I live dalam uh, almari baju, I am not aware dengan benda-benda yang viral and popular around me. So, thank you for you guys for letting me know. I have never heard of this brand before. But I look it up sebab macam ramai duk sebut pasal this BC cream And when I did my research First of all, I am quite skeptical when it comes to cream foundation Because they tend to not look good on me On my texture skin Dia macam tends to emphasize my texture And dia macam selalu cling to my dry patches And it doesn't blend well Ah, tu salah satunya Macam cream foundation ni kebanyakannya macam susah nak blend well on my skin in particular so when I look it up I macam ah cream ok lepas tu tengok juga ibet orang lah tengok lah gambar sebelum selepas lah demo demo lah ni demo lah tu and kebanyakan demo-demo tu semua yang pakai tu semuanya flawless flawless lah ke kulit memang dah licin so it definitely look good on them sebab dia punya skin dah memang sangat cantik ah oh, untung lah so pakai apa pun cantik so usually bila I saw that kind of thing I will just mm, goodbye but I don't know what yang mendorong for me to try anyway because obviously I bought it and I have tried this once and I gotta say it is quite good <laughs> I was surprised that it looks uh, quite good on my skin lah, I don't like to form my opinion based on my first time trying a certain product especially foundation kalau macam lipstick ke eyeshadows ke benda lain tu we can just tell right away benda tu okay ke tak tapi when it comes to foundation I like to try 385 kali dulu baru I can pour out and give my honest review on it but so far my first impression of this is uh, quite impressive I have to play around with it more and I will definitely definitely do a review on this one once I have a solid opinion on this PC cream so bersabarlah kasih ke tu kalau aku tu so okay let's unbox these two precious packages right here so I'm going to start with this one first this is from the brand Beauty by Dania Assalamualaikum. Hi sis. Terima kasih sebab sudi nak cuba dari review on your face dulu. Kami dari Team Beauty by Dania Barang Terang. Lots of love. Zurain Rashidi. Team Beauty by Dania. Thank you so much. So they send um, three foil eyeshadows. And also three glitter eyeshadows. So these eyeshadows daripada Beauty by Dania. Semua ni handmade eyeshadows. So I am very excited to try their foil eyeshadows. So I have here Grandstand. Brick Anastasia and also Insomnia. For the glitter, I have Magenta, P. Cooper and Hot Gold. So this is Grandstand. <gasps> wow! Panjangnya! <laughs> panjangnya! Dia punya pigmentation tu macam goes a long way. Punya lah panjang. Daripada sini, boleh tarik sampai ke bawah ni. Boleh pusing rasanya ke belakang ni. Wow! Wow! Wow Pernah tengok eyeshadow pigmented sampai macam ni Ah, daripada belakang Pusing sampai ke belakang <laughs> Wow That is so impressive Wow So I'm gonna swatch Brick Brick Anastasia Okay Just one Swipe What Wow Wow Pernah buat swatches sepanjang lagi ni Wow Wow That's beautiful color Brick Sesuai lah nama dia Brick So this one is Insomnia This one macam reminds me a lot of uh, makeup geek Insomnia Kau? Anastasia Beverly Hills yang ada Insomnia So again Satu swipe permutation Yeah, this one reminds me a lot of uh, makeup geek Insomnia It has similar tone uh, Macam brown but with um, blue blue sparkles macam tu very pigmented wow oh, the beauty by dania is our local brand okay orang malaysia oh, good job amazing amazing 
Mm, that's Lee. Ole. <gasps> Color pop. Color pop. You wanna know what's inside? Yes, please. Woo! My Color pop palette has finally arrived. So I pre-ordered this one from IG Shop. I will link the IG Shop down below. Cepat juga, dah sampai. Cute AF Academy Fantasia. This is how the inside looks like. So, dah banyak colour ni. Colour yang paling menarik dan menawan hati. Sampai rasa nak beli. Is this yellow colour? <laughs> this is definitely a warm yellowish colour palette. It's very small and compact. So, I'm not going to swatch this uh, palette just yet. Oh, sepasal yang macam, oh, sayangnya. Nak pegang. Sayangnya. Nak pegang. Sayangnya. Nak pegang. Sayang. Sayang. Jangan. Do you want review video on this palette? But I don't think that we need any more review. Pasal this one pun mesti dah ramai dah review as usual So I'm going to keep this first and use it in the tutorial Tazaba Tazaba Sama boleh So yeah that concludes my uh, mini clap tip haul Barang-barang yang sampai lepas ni I'm going to share dekat Instagram je lah <laughs> As usual I'm going to link everything down below So thank you guys for watching I'll see you in my next video Bye